Welcome back to East by West Farms, where we grow what we eat and we eat what we grow. In this video, we're gonna build a mailbox. We've been living here on this farm mostly on the weekends for about a year now. Previously, the postmaster knew us. Uh, he just uh, or she just came by the house dro to drop off mail. No big deal. Now, with all the changes that we see in the U.S. Postal Services, that's not the case anymore, and we need to put put up a mailbox. We bought this big mailbox online, large size, so we can fit a uh, package in there. It is USPS mail approved. We didn't buy the matching support that uh, screws in here. I think we can do a better job, maybe not better job, but easier job and certainly cheaper job in building our own support. I got two two by fours, screw them together. That goes in like that and like this. And then we put a platform on top and screw the mailbox on. The thing we need to do, according to the rules of the U postal service, we need to make, we need to put a street address on there. A quick look at the tools I'm using. I bought a uh, roll of chisels, roll of carving tools uh, from Alibaba a while ago. Works well for me, for my skill level. Of course, a saw, now that's a cheap saw from, uh, from the box store. Of course, you need a hammer. Got a standard hammer there, nothing to write home about. I do have a plane that's used to get a good surface. Um, that plane, I think I've got that from uh, Harbor Freight. The handles come loose, so you screw them in once in a while. A, a diamond sharpening stone, that's really nice. Um, diamond sharpening is, is really a step forward from water stone sharpening. Then we have some fixer upper, um, uh, error correction device, it's called glue, so if something pops off, glue it back on. A letter strop that's used to sharpening or to, to really to hone the chisels, so the, hone, the, uh, hone the sharpening tools. Um, simply just, just honing them once in a while makes it a lot easier. I mean, you kind of feel when the tools get dull and you just hone them. Of course, a tape measure, that's always useful. I've got a square, that's important. Uh, we want to, at the end of the day, the whole thing needs to be straight and level. Then I made myself a bevel tool. That tool is used to uh, get a bevel on multiple pieces of wood. It's just a few pieces of scrap, two by fours, screwed together and uh, the bevel kind of sticks with friction. You can buy them, you can make them yourself. I just was lazy and didn't want to go to the store to get one. Very important is safety with anything that involves sharp edges. Never put your, your hand or fingers in front of a sharp edge. Always make sure you, your finger is behind, behind the edge so you can't get injured. The first thing I do the outline like that. Fairly straightforward. It's nice to have a set of different carving tools so you can get the contour right. And with this, I take my gouge and gouge out, gouge out the excess. One of the things with pine is that it has um, very different density and hardness between the different between the rings. So the brown, the darker parts are really hard, and that can make it carving through it pretty difficult. The next part is the fun part, which is basically shaping the three-dimensionality of the, of the numbers. 
I mark the center line here and uh, all I need to do is to really round the, um, the numbers so that they kind of converge to center line. Feather the six out a little bit so that it goes from the field up into the three-dimensional piece. It's important to be cognizant of the grain direction. Uh, you don't want to have it chipping out. So for example, when I round it over, I'm going to go in this direction. It's kind of like a, 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 uh, a cat fur. Uh, if I would go in that direction, then it kind of tears out the fibers. I use some glue to hold it in and then pin it with some screws and then I don't need to wait until it is it is done and the glue settles. Looks good, huh? Thank you. So next time we have more time, we put the Chinese characters here for the street address. Good morning. So we didn't quite finish the uh, post box last night. That's looking nice. Thanks for painting the sign. Sure. So you're the artist here in the family, right? <laughs> I mean, you've got the artistic vision and all that. So what's your artistic vision for the post? Can you give us the artistic vision for the post? What are you doing here? I'm just painting it, and uh, you already covered out, so I just paint what you have covered out. That's it. How about the choice of colors? Uh, what do you want to express with the colors? What's uh, your artistic statement of the poem? I'm an engineer. I don't care about the color. We've got some white color here, we've got some black color. I think the idea is to paint the pole white and highlight the, highlight the, the numbers number. black. As long as the postmaster can see it. And uh, so we definitely don't want to uh, make like red and the green, that, uh, maybe because the postmaster might be colorblind. Yeah. I like that. 
All right, okay, I'm gonna head out to dig the hole. I'm here at the curb, or the edge of the road, that's the uh, county road. Uh, the post office told us that they want to, they have package they want to drive into the house or into the driveway, deliver them the doorsteps and come out and be able to access the mailbox on the way out. So we put on the right hand side of the driveway. It's wet today, so that makes the digging really easy. I need to go, what, 19 inches deep. Okay, putting some pea gravel in here. Tamping it down. There you go.
You know what's missing? The mailbox. The mailbox. Yeah, uh, no kidding. Perfect. 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 And we're done. This is our custom carved street sign with a custom built mailbox support and a USPS postmaster general approved mailbox. Yep, working well. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you want to follow our journey with the East by West Farms, hit the subscribe button.